Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm going to be showing you a sublimation hack, a sublimation trick. If you don't have full polyester shirts, if you don't have easy subly, or if you just want another option in order to get those dark shirts popping with full color images. So I have some Caesar Glitter HTV. Of course, you can get this from Heat Transfer Warehouse or wherever this is sold. But I'm going to show you this. I've been meaning to show this on my channel for a while and I just never got around to it. So today it's Saturday. This is a quick, easy video that I can show you because I know I have a lot of people still out there asking about sublimation. So you can sublimate on 100% cotton shirts. I'm gonna be using a Gildan soft style t-shirt. This is black, of course. Cannot sublimate this. So the only way I can sublimate this is if I use a hack like Caesar Glitter HTV. This is a regular heat transfer vinyl that I can apply on the shirt and I can sublimate directly on top of this. So it is a two-step process, but I'll show you it's easy. So now by using the Glitter White HTV vinyl, I'm able to press this onto my shirt like a regular vinyl and then sublimate directly on top of that. So I'm going to be using my A-Sub sublimation paper, Caesar Glitter HTV, and of course my new 12 by 10 Walla Craft Press from Heat Transfer Warehouse. So I'm gonna be using this to sublimate. Now you can do the exact same thing using your Cricut and Design Space, but I'm gonna be using my Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus along with my Silhouette Studios. So without further ado, let's get started and I'm gonna show you how to sublimate your garment using some Caesar Glitter. Okay, so I'm in my Silhouette Studios Designers Edition, and this is going to be the image that we are going to sublimate today. I got this from Designs by Amora. She has an Etsy shop, and she has so many great um, SVG sublimation files that you can use and purchase from her. So I had this for a while and never used it, so I thought now would be the time. We don't gossip, we profit. So I'm just going to go back and put on my cutting mat because I'm definitely going to be using my cutting mat. So I'm using my 12 by 24 and I'm going to change this. I was doing something else, so I had no cutting mat on. So now you can see it just a little bit better with the cutting mat. And I'm going to size this to the size that I need. I'm using a size small shirt. So we need to get this down to about, I'm going to do about six and a half by nine. So that should be good because it's wider than it is longer. So I'm going to stretch it just a little bit to about seven. Okay, so that's how I want it to look. I want it to make it a little bit longer. So now it's measuring at about 6.9 by about 8.9. So when you're using the Caesar Glitter, you definitely want to trace this. So now I'm going to come over here into my right panel and I'm going to click this icon right here. That's going to bring up my trace panel and I'm going to select the trace area. So I'm going to highlight everything. And as you see, it doesn't fill everything in. So you can just take up your threshold, but I truly only need the outside, but I definitely want to get those shadows in. So I'm just going to fill it in. And so pretty much everything is filled in. Okay. So now it looks like everything on my outside is filled in and I'm just going to trace outer edge. Now this is one way that you can do it. Trace the outer edge. I'm going to make that white. And then this would sit right on top. I'm going to bring this to the front. And this would sit right up on top. But you see, that's exact. I don't want the exact size. So what I really want to do, I need to create an offset. That's the method that I'm going to use that's going to make it a lot easier. You need to have a backing. So this would be your sublimation that you would print out with your sublimation, but I need to actually have the exact same pattern, same shape to cut out with the Caesar Glitter HTV. So I'm just going to select it and now I'm gonna come over to my right panel over here. This is gonna be for my offset and my internal offset. So I'm gonna click offset to create an offset and I'm going to bring it down because it's way too thick. I only need a small border so I'm going to see, I'm going to bring that down. So let's go with 30 because the border on this is black. So I really don't want like a, a white border. So I'm just going to leave it at 30 for right now. I'm going to click apply. And now I'm going to just fill this in. Since the glitter HTV is white, I'm just going to go ahead and make that white. And now I'm going to put that in. 
So this is how it would look once you sublimate. Um, I have this really small thin border around here. Let me make it all bigger. I'm going to make a copy just so you can see it better. So I'm not going to mess with this one is going to be my original one. But I just want to make it bigger so that way you can see it on camera. So as you see right here, you see this is what it would look like once you supplement. You'll have that white border. Now you can do it exactly. You can definitely just cut exactly to the shape. Um, you can do your print and cut method and you can just, you know, duplicate it on, in Cricut Design Space. All you would need to do is just duplicate the top area and this would be your backing. Cut the shape, cut this, and you sublimate this on top. I like to create a small little offset just so that way I can have that little play wiggle room to make sure I have everything fit in perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one because that's not the correct size. And this is what I am going to be working with. So I'm going to bring this up. So now I definitely need to flip horizontally. You need to mirror both of your images because you need to cut it mirrored and you need to supplement mirrored. This is going to be my actual design that I'm going to supplement. And this is going to be the glitter HTV that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to cut this one first and then I'm going to come back and print and cut the supplementation HTV. I'm going to send this to cut. And these are my cut settings. My blade is on three, my force is on 33, my speed is on five with one pass. And I'm gonna send this to cut. So this is the Caesar glitter. This is what it looks like up close. You can see the sparkles. One side, of course, is shiny, the other side is dull. So you wanna put it on your mat, shiny side down. So I'm using my standard grip mat and I'm just going to place it down on the mat, shiny side down, glitter side down. Okay, I'm just going to smooth that out. Depending upon your blade, depending upon your mat, you know, your cut settings might vary just a little bit. I'm gonna put that in. Make sure it doesn't move. Okay, that's finished. And I can see those cut lines really good. So I'm gonna pull that up. So now I'm just gonna weed this out and put this to the side. And it weaves really easy. Even though it's thicker, it weaves perfectly. Look at that. Okay, and that's the Caesar glitter cut out. Oh, can't forget the little piece in the middle. Now it's perfect. So I'm gonna put this to the side and now let's get the sublimation paper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this and sublimate this. I'm gonna change this to my letter size paper because of course I'm gonna be using printing this on letter size. I'm gonna remove the cutting mat and let's just see if it would fit in the borders for a print and cut method. I'm going to turn up my thickness, push back my threshold, straighten this out, and it actually fits in perfectly. So I might just go ahead and cut this so that way it will be exact and precise, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and print this on my ASAP paper and I'm sending this to my Epson Workforce 7710. You guys always ask me what printer I'm using. I'm going to be printing out using Printer's Jack and I'm using my Epson Workforce 7710. And again, this is mirrored. This is my printer. Ready to go. Print. I just had to yesterday add more black ink. I was getting little streaks, so that means my ink was getting low. So of course I had to refill it. And there you have it. 
and I'm using the Eco A Sub paper. So you can see. Now let's take it over and let's cut it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this on. You wanna hold down the button for five seconds. And last time I did it in just Celsius, but if you hold the plus and the minus at the exact same time, you can switch back and forth between the Celsius and the Fahrenheit. So I definitely want to be in Fahrenheit. So I have it set for about 365 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna let that heat up. While that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Now I was gonna cut it, but as you saw in Silhouette Studio, I removed the cutting mat. So whenever I remove the cutting mat and I print it, I don't cut it because it'll cut off centered a little bit and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and cut as close as possible to the design, which I really didn't want to do. I really wanted to do the um, print and cut method, but now I have to do this because I don't want to risk messing up the design and I didn't want to have to print it again. So I'm just going to cut really close to it and then lay it on top of the glitter. Okay, so I have that all cut out as best as I can get it. So now let's go ahead and start sublimating. Okay, so first I'm gonna start by laying this onto the shirt first. And as you can see, just so you can see, this is how it would go down. You would lay this on and then you would do this on top. Now, some people actually do this off the shirt first and put it on and then transfer it. I'm not doing all that, that's an extra step. So I automatically just go ahead and press this on the shirt and then I sublimate this on top. So that's what we're gonna do. I have this heated up to about 365. I'm gonna go ahead and of course, lay the shirt on the pressing pillow. I'm going to pre-press the shirt, get all the moisture out. Okay, so before I pre-press this, I'm going to actually fold this in half to give me my center line, my crease. So I'm gonna fold this in half so that way I can get my center line nice and as even as possible. I'm gonna press that. Try to make sure it's centered as much as I can. So I'm just gonna press that just like that. I'm only gonna do five seconds. And then I'm gonna actually fold this up so that way I can get a center line. You wanna fold it right underneath the armpits. I'm gonna fold that. Another five seconds. And that will give me some crease lines, some guidelines to follow, just like that. Okay. I'm gonna also fold this so that way I can get pretty much the center of this. So no rulers or guides today. We're gonna to keep this real simple. Three fingers from the top. So I have my center lines with this. I have my center lines with the shirt. This isn't the center of the shirt. It's just a guide to keep this straight. So once I created the crease in here, pretty much. Now I'm just gonna use my three fingers from the top rule. Bring this up, bring that over to the crease, just like that. So I'm gonna cover this with a Teflon sheet. This Caesar glitter, you wanna press at 320 for 15 seconds. And it's medium to firm pressure. 
This is a warm peel, so I'm just gonna let it cool down just a little bit, and then we're going to peel it up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take this up to 365 in order to supplement. So this will be warming up to about 365, and I'm gonna take this up to let's just say 50 seconds. So that's gonna be warming up. So I'm gonna peel this off nice and slow. And look at that glitter. Beautiful. And now I want to line this up, try to get it as perfect as I can. That's why some people do it off so that way you can lift it up and still see it. But I'm just going to go with it and pray I have it lined up right. That's why I created a little offset so that way I'm still in there. Okay, and I think I'm pretty good. And of course, I'm going to apply some heat transfer tape to it because I definitely want to make sure it stays in place. I'm hoping that this is good all the way around. <laughs> that should be enough. So we're going to go with it. Now I'm going to cover it with butcher paper on top for sublimation. And I'm going to go ahead and now sublimate. And I think I'm going to turn it this way just because it's a wider angle and hold it down and it's ready okay let's see how it came out I can see the colors through it I can see the colors that's a good sign okay guys here we go let's see if these colors are popping come on now look at that look at that oh baby now you see i was off just a little bit with the border i was off just a smidget but that is popping look at those colors oh come on now we don't gossip we profit oh this is hot i love this so of course you can feel the glitter texture but i just love this shirt we don't gossip we profit oh yeah baby and i sparkle that's right so now the only thing is had i cut it had i cut this i, I wouldn't have had the earrings so that would be the only thing if you cut if you do the cut method of course you'll get the black on the inside but because i didn't cut it i got that um but because i didn't cut it all i did the outline i got the hoops I'm guessing this is from when I folded the shirt, so I probably won't do that next time. But I love the way this came out. Look at those sparkles. Look at those colors popping. This is a 100% cotton t-shirt. Sublimation using the Caesar glitter. And of course, I love the way this came out. So this is a method that you can try. Of course, with my manual hand press, the Walla Press 12 by 10. So you can do this, of course, on a heat press machine. But since I was just doing one shirt, I just wanted to show you that it can be done with a mini press as well. I love this. We don't gossip, we profit and we sparkle. Look at that. I tell you, you use that Caesar Glitter HTV, it just makes your designs pop and sparkle even more. So this definitely has a nice feel to it. You know, you can definitely feel the glitter texture just a little bit, but this is so nice. I can't wait to rock this shirt. Ah, we don't gossip, we profit. I think these colors pop even more with the glitter. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. So if you've never tried the sublimation hack, you definitely need to try this because if you have a lot of nice, cute designs, not too many for boy designs, but you can use them for pictures. You can use them, of course, you know, for kid stuff or just designs like this that you think would not mind with the glitter behind it. Listen, this is a way to sublimate your designs on dark color images 
with the Caesar Glitter HTV. Of course, I'm going to show you another hack as well coming up. So hope this video helped you out. Definitely hit the like button down below. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Now get out there and stop running your mouth and talking so much and go make some money. Make some profit. Hey, 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 hey.